Mission proposals are not selected the first time around. It's a very competitive environment. I was designing an instrument, but the mission itself was uh, deemed too expensive by NASA and was not selected. But uh, that's the name of the game. Not every instrument that you design uh, flies. You submit several times and you improve on it, and then someday you hope that you're going to be selected. In the Integrated Design Center, they come with their abstract concept, work with the engineers, and then they, they face their reality, if you will. As a young scientist, uh, usually very focused on, on achieving your science and analyzing data, um, and you know, hoping to participate in your missions. But I think to be able to build your own instrument, your own mission, you really have to understand the engineering. The Integrated Design Center is where the magic happens. It's where they bring in all of the different disciplines from communications and power and radiation. And it allows us to get our feet wet in designing an instrument or a mission that could potentially be proposed to a real life NASA program one day. So if I'm going to be part of a member of a large mission design or going to be a PI, not only I should be thinking about the science, I should also be worrying about what the engineers can deliver. My job is naturally very collaborative. I work with a lot of scientists, but it's a very different way of thinking to go over to the engineers and, and to talk with them. So one of the great things about the Winter School is that we go from researchers to mission developers. We all learn about every element of the mission, from the budget, from the mechanical, from the electrical. And so as scientists, we typically don't have that choice. My role in the Planetary Science Winter School is communications. I'm in charge of getting the data back from the instrument suite back home. Every time somebody made a change, we had to figure out how long it was going to take to get things from the spacecraft back to Earth, and how much time we had with the orbital parameters of the spacecraft, and how much power that would take. So there were so many trade-offs that every time any change was made, I had to recalculate all of the numbers. When you're designing a mission or instrument, it's all about trading off your science and, and, and the engineering. So you make sure you can keep the, the science you really want, maybe get a little bit of extra science that you'd like, but overall you've got to make it work. My vision is that the Planetary Science Winter School becomes the premier program for training NASA early career scientists. It's a real investment in, in people, and that's the most important one in my view.